Hello, Baseheads. Today I want to talk about box rise or impedance rise and why it is absolutely, completely awesome. Okay, let's say you've got a system, you've measured it, and it peaks at uh, 32 hertz, that's the tuning frequency, and that's where it consumes the most power. And you have a, a box that's not very efficient at all, let's say you've got it wired at 1 ohm, H, and then you've got it um, on a one one k amp, so a thousand watts. Okay, let's say you test it at thirty two hertz. You're at one point five ohms, right down here, and you over time. You, you work on the box, you make it more efficient, you make it better, and your your ohms at that particular point in time go up, and by the time you're done, you're at three, 3 ohms. So you've gone from 1.5 at 32 hertz to 3 ohms at 30, um, 32 hertz. So that's your rise. So now you have from 1 ohm to 3 ohms, you got a 3 times rise which somewhere honestly between two and three is pretty normal. Um, you should have probably at least two, uh, sometimes two and a half. Three is pretty efficient, but also depends on your subs as well. Now at 1.5 ohms, you're pushing, let's say 800 watts. And then at three ohms, you're pushing 500 watts. Well, this is actually really really good because what here's the point that this is the part where people don't tell you okay you know you're thinking oh man my amp is not pushing any power this is why so many people want to just completely try to figure out how to eliminate impedance rise they just want to get rid of it altogether and they want to try to figure out how to stay at one ohm through the frequencies now reminder this is at 32 hertz this is at the point where you pull the most power so all your other frequencies are actually going to pull less power well here's the crazy thing that people don't talk about Let's say you started at uh, 140.5 dB. dB. And then uh, you end up at 141 dB. So you're not only more efficient, you're, you're using less power, but you're actually louder with less power. Um, so your amp is pushing less, your amp is staying cooler, you're saving on your electrical system, you're having to push your electrical systems harder, you don't need as many upgrades, and you're actually louder. This is why you want impedance rise. This is what's great about impedance rise. Not only that, but you're at three ohms, and let's say uh, you want to add another sub. So you had a dual 2 ohm sub and you ran it at 1 ohm and you eventually worked it out and you got 3 ohms. So now you run 2 ohms and now you change the amp to 0.5 ohms. And then um, at the 3 ohms now you're pulling 800 watts again except for the fact that you've doubled your cone area and you've almost doubled power so you're going up about 5 dB. So now you're at 146 dB. And look, same power. You just made your system more efficient. So guys, I hope this helps. Uh, this is a little bit on impedance rise. I want to do a whole series on impedance rise and uh, what causes impedance, why it's good, and then how to, how to measure your impedance. That's going to be a big one when we get to it. Anyways, for now... Hope you guys are having a great day and cheers.